Now in this video, I'm going to be shooting targets that are going to be slotted into here. And these are steel target holders from a company called Tinker Tonk. Now Tinker Tonk might sound like a character from a TV show, especially like a children's TV show, but these steel items that just fix onto a fence or a tree or something do an excellent job of funneling all your pellets into here and preventing any sort of ricochets. So you just put a screw in or a nail and just slot them on. And because they're a funnel shape, if you're putting pellets in that aren't quite hitting the middle of the target, it funnels them all down into the back here. There you go. Now I've got two of these, it just means that I can shoot two mags worth of pellets before I need to come down and swap over the targets. And these are set up at approximately 40 yards away from where I'll be shooting. And the targets I'm using I think are about five inches or five and a half inches or something. I'll put the link to both this Tinker Tonk thing and also the targets themselves in the video description. So just click on that if you want to find out more about them. Very good, they go very well together. These fit in perfectly. And they're really, really cheap targets. Very, very good. For this shooting session, again, I'm going to be using this fella, which is the FX Indy. But I'm not gonna have it on full power. Last time, I had it on 30 foot-pounds. And it was throwing the pellets all over the place. I was reasonably happy with the grouping because it was the first time I'd used the rifle. But when I turned it down to 18 foot-pounds, I noticed a hell of a difference. So I think I need heavier pellets for the more powerful setting. So I'm not going to use it on 30, I'm going to use it on 18. And I'm actually going to increase the distance this time from 25 yards to 40 yards. And let's see how we get on. Now I know resting on plastic bags isn't going to be the most accurate way of doing things. And also using the bipod as opposed to resting the fore end on a sandbag isn't going to be the most secure either. But it's going to be the most realistic. So there you go, that is a hell of a lot better. That is good, and you've just seen that happen as well, it's not as if I've shot that from five yards away. And I do apologise for the grainy nature of the footage on the actual shooting part of this video, but I had the zoom right in and it was a dark day and it was raining. Now for this video I was using Air Arms 16 grain Diablo Field or Field Diablo pellets. I forget the exact name of them, but at the 18 foot pound setting for the rifle, they did a much better job. I also tried it with the 21 grain Bisley Magnums as well, and it was exceptionally accurate with those. When I get heavier pellets, I'll be able to step back up to the more powerful setting on the gun. I'll be able to step back up to 30 foot pounds and get a little bit of accuracy back there because the accuracy with those lighter pellets wasn't very good in the last video. Well, if you've liked this, hit the thumbs up, share it wherever you want. And just to reiterate, I'll put the important links to the targets and also the target holders in the video description. So just click show more, all the important stuff will come up. Click on there to find out more information or if you want to go and buy them, just go and buy them. It's actually a link to Amazon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. That is an awesome group from 25 yards, literally just pellet on top of pellet for the most part. Uh, but I didn't have the camera rolling because I was just lining up the sights. I shall know better next time.